Old Man Logan number 38 by Ed Brisson and Dalibor Talajak. In Mayor Fisk's office, he laments Bullseye was careless in his fight with Logan. Meanwhile, Bullseye removes the flash drive from Sarah's PC while she tries to bribe him. Back on the streets, Logan is in pain, but hopes he bought Sarah enough time to escape. Suddenly he's recognized. The mutant crazed crowd chases him, but he manages to disappear. Back in the apartment, Sarah's getting nowhere with Bullseye and starts shooting, missing with each shot. He flings a plate at her and makes his escape with the drive. He leaps from her apartment and finds a car to hijack outside. A bleeding Sarah meets Logan in her hallway, explaining that Bullseye was able to get the drive. He tells her to go to the hospital and leaves out in search of Bullseye. Meanwhile, Bullseye calls Fisk to tell him that he was able to get the drive. Not paying attention, Logan leaps into his windshield. He demands the drive and drops a few threats in the process. Getting him on the ground, Bullseye is in trouble, but passes out before Logan can get any more answers. Logan drags his unconscious body to the Kingpin's office, who later has his guards stand down so they can have a little conversation. Logan holds up the drive, asking him what's so important on it that he'd have people killed for it. Fisk tells him to pop the drive in his PC and reveals that it's all just pictures of he and his wife Vanessa in happier times. Logan is enraged, telling Fisk he isn't allowed to kill people for things like this. Later, he punches his claws into the Kingpin's desk, who bargains with him. He'll allow Sarah Dewey to live a happy life in exchange for walking away. Frustrated, Logan leaves. Sometimes, somewhere, somehow, Fisk will strew up again, but he goes to check on Sarah and tells her that she has a lot to live for. With that, this issue is left to be continued. Ed Brisson is still doing some amazing work, but the series is sort of hitting a skid. I know they can't all be winners all the time, but it just seems like a character like Logan is too complex to just be facing random baddies like Bullseye and a resurrected Mariko. With young man Logan returning, it's only fitting that his older counterpart should be part of his re-emergence. Brisson has shown that he's better than this. Hopefully he digs a little deeper in the coming issues. I give this one a 7 out of 10. If you like this video, there's hundreds more like it, spinning several current and classic story arcs. Click the boxes here for more playlists. This video is also accompanied by my blog at nerdiestkidyouknow.com. You can also follow links to my Facebook or Twitter pages, as well as a link to this very issue for sale on my eBay page by clicking below. For the Nerdiest Kid You Know, I'm Sam Torito. Thanks for watching.